Good morning everyone at Mind Valley. I'm Kelly Getz and I will be your faculty today. And I thought we'd start the day doing some of the daily energy routine. And also um, I want to talk to you about hoi balls. Um, it is 36 degrees here. My feet are chilly. I've actually got them barefoot on the grass. And so I've been standing here for several minutes now grounding. We have been on lockdown. This is our third week. Kids are doing school from home. Most people are working from home. Um, I have to say I'm a little surprised. I am seeing cars on the road and I think they're going to work. I'm not really certain, but um, most everything is closed down here except for the essential businesses. Um, and I think that's really good. I've been hearing more and more from different friends in Ohio and today I heard somebody in Naperville um, where they actually knew one of the cases and and so I think it's really really important that we stay home and that we keep our families safe and more importantly we keep our hospitals our doctors our nurses from having to contend with more um, sick people so if you are hurting um, I do send my love to you and if you know someone I also send my love and my prayers to them so let's get started. Um, we have, I actually have this hawk that just keeps um, circling around. So if you're into looking up what animal totems mean, then you might want to check that out because he keeps coming back and forth. At least I think it's a hawk. All right, so we're going to start off with the shoulder crossover pull. And we want to get our energies crossing over so that we can think so that we don't trip and fall. Now I'm gonna be standing barefoot in the grass this whole time. Whew, a little breeze just came about. Here in Illinois, um, especially us in the suburbs, we're still able to take walks. We don't really see too many people when we do. So um, we're grateful that we're able to get outside. We are gonna tap our cheeks. We're tapping our cheeks for grounding. This is the stomach meridian that travels from our, behind our eyes and our cheeks and it travels all the way down to the second toe. So when we are tapping our cheeks, we are sending that yang energy down to the ground for grounding. Now we're gonna find those clavicle bones here and we're gonna drop right below it. Don't worry about being perfect here. Your hands are gonna actually find their place and they are going to do their best to draw that energy up. And unlike, um, unlike the actual point itself, our hands are getting the whole territory. So we don't have to be quite as precise as you, as you would if you were an acupuncturist and you were needling. Now, why are we tapping our kidney meridian? We're tapping the kidney meridian so we can pump the energy up from the ground. So at the bottom of my chilly feet, I have a point called K1 and it is the closest to the ground and it is drawing energy up the meridian channel up to the K27 point. Now we're going to come to the thymus point right here between our rib cage and we're going to tap for our immune system. Again, I have no idea where these people are going. They should be staying home, but it is what it is. Maybe they're going to work. So we're connecting to the thymus point. I chose this spot because it's my favorite tree. It blooms really beautiful. And now we're going to come into our spleen point. Spleen is about metabolizing everything that there is. <sighs> metabolizing our blood, metabolizing life. And we really want to keep spleen strong right now because a strong spleen, someone that has strong spleen energy, they're better able to withstand and ward off any illness. And so they, aren't, they haven't been stressed as much or they're maybe they're doing a better job at self-care so we really want to work on our self-care all right so let's cross over so we are going to bring our arms over you can do this big you can do it small whatever you feel comfortable doing if you are somebody that um, is not mobile then you can do it sitting if you are somebody that is only able to move your arms a little bit, you do what you can. You can doodle figure eights. It's still gonna help the brain and the body remember to cross over. All right, so let's hook up. So you're gonna find your belly button. 
and you're gonna put your middle finger there, conducts more energy. So we're gonna put our middle finger there. I'm gonna take a nice deep breath. I need the hookup right now. I didn't get a yawn that time, but I had this wonderful wave of happiness that came into me. Now, if you are somebody that maybe this isn't working for you, another way that you can do the hookup is you can use the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint is actually located, so you're gonna follow right down until you get to the center point here. It's the same place that if you were to follow these balloons here, you'll drop in and you'll find a point right there. It's called the PowerPoint. This is a really important point for us since another way you can hook up. So you put your middle finger in that spot in the back of your head and then your other middle finger in the center. It's taking some more deep breaths. And I'm gonna pull up a little more. All right, so that is our hookup. So let's go ahead and do a standing Wayne Cook. If you're sitting down and you wanna do the sitting down Wayne Cook, that's fine too. But I'm gonna do the standing Wayne Cook because it's actually um, a little muddy. And so I don't wanna sit down on the ground. So I'm gonna take my right leg and I'm gonna move it over my left ankle. And for those of you that have been watching the Mind Valley program, uh, Titania has been coming in and she's been doing, this is a modified Wayne Cook. So we're gonna cross our right over, oops, cross our right over our left. And then I'm gonna bring my hands out. And just for your sake, I'm gonna really exaggerate this. I'm gonna take my, I guess I really need this exercise. I'm gonna take my right hand over my left hand and then I'm gonna turn my palms in. I'm gonna loop my hands in together. I'm gonna take some nice deep breaths. unwind and we're going to cross over again all right so left hand goes over right fold the palms in lace your fingers together and up Let's bring our fingers together in a steeple and the thumbs to the third eye. Take some nice deep breaths. Hold your fingers down and pull out. And we're doing the crown pull. We're creating space and movement in our brain. All right, Whew. I gotta rub my hands together. So let's go ahead and we're gonna zip up. So I'm gonna bring up and out. I also wanna do the heaven and earth exercise. So we're gonna rub our hands together. I actually need to warm up, it's chilly in my bare feet. Hands on your legs, take a nice deep breath in. And bring your hands up and over until they connect. And actually, I guess I'm not doing the heaven and earth. <laughs> no, I am. I have to confess, every time I see a car going by, I'm wondering where are they going and I'm losing my train of thought. And the other side. Let's do one more. And then I'm gonna fold over. I don't know if you can still see me, but I'm gonna let my, my body 
drop. And I take some nice deep breaths until I can fold over a little more. And then we're gonna do some figure eights on. Another breeze just came by. All right, so. I want to talk about poi balls because my husband and I have been doing a lot of walking and just recently I thought why am I not taking my poi balls with me and so um, what these are these are a wonderful tool that you can use to get your aura stronger and more fluffed up I think it's great when you're walking because you could also get some movement in your arms and even though they weren't designed to strengthen your arms um, Carl you're welcome to come join me grab some poi balls <laughs> Anyways, my husband just came outside. He's in his bare feet, so he's going to join me, um, I think. Hey, neighbors. Anyways, so these were originally, I believe, they were actually originally founded in New Zealand. And um, oh, it's, this is my husband, Carl, so he's going to join me. They were originally developed, there was a bunch of women that were working with poi balls. And what the men noticed is they would come together, the women, they would gather, they would be swinging these and they were happy and they were connected and they were delighted and so therefore um, the men were like well what's going on you know we want a little bit of that too and so they started swinging them and of course we know that a lot of um, traditions in Hawaii and New Zealand they have people working with poi bells and they're doing very elaborate dances with them so you can get these it's poi p-o-i balls you can get these on Amazon I believe Titania is still selling these on her website and you can also make them. I'll find a link um, so that you can learn to make these at home with supplies that you might have in your house or maybe something you can order. Um, the other way to do it, I'm going to borrow yours for a second. Okay. This is my husband Carl. He's waiting to go on a walk with me. Um, anyways, you can also take a tube sock. So my daughter usually has fun sock day at school so we have various fun bright colored tube socks I also use this in some of my introductory classes and we make them <laughs> and so to make them you just take a tube sock and you're gonna want to either put plastic bags in them and you wouldn't want to use plastic bags you just recently got in the last few weeks but if you have old grocery plastic bags I find that two of those bags you wad them up make a nice little ball mold them into a ball stick them at the bottom of the sock and then you would tie a knot the other nice thing that you could do to make your own poi balls would be to get some old socks, you know, the ones that have holes in them, don't throw them out. Just get them washed and then stick those at the bottom of a tube sock, tie a knot, and you're ready to go. So you can make these at home. It's fun, it's simple, and I think what it'll do, even if you want to clear energy in a space, you can go into your uh, one of your rooms and just get some energy moving by swinging the poi balls. So I find that the easiest thing to do is to start with one. My husband's starting behind me, so start with one. You wanna get the energy crossing over. You can turn around with it. And then you can add the second one in once you feel comfortable with that. Most people just wanna go for it. So you'll find that the reason you want them nice and soft is that every once in a while, if you're like me, you will bump into one part of your body or you will trip things up. Carl's also doing it from the side. This is another great way to go. So I think we're gonna be using our poi balls on our walk this morning. <sighs> Thank you for joining me here in Naperville. I will be answering your questions all day long. I will be popping in and out. If I have any other videos to share with you, I will share them. If you need something specific, um, we are on class two of the Mind Valley program. So, you know, if there's anything about class one or two that you need, let me know. And I'll look forward to answering your questions. Until I talk to you later today on Facebook, please make some poi balls for yourself. Do your daily energy routine. Get grounded no matter how cold it is. I've been standing here for quite some time now. It will make you feel better, it'll support your immune system, and it will help you thrive during these difficult times. All right, let's get our day going. Bye.